Okay, so here's the thing with how to make a vlog. There's no definitive guide, there's no rule book, there's no blanket statements, there's no do these things and you will make successful vlogs that everybody loves that are tons of fun. Your personality is more important than doing fun things like jumping out of a plane, things like ripping a Lamborghini around a racetrack, but you take the person out of that situation that is the vlogger, you take the vlogger out of those fun scenarios and all you have is just an emotionless commercial that you just flip through on TV. Nobody cares, you flip through it, you forget about it, the day goes on, you don't give that another second thought until maybe you see it again on a rerun. It's because that's your favorite vlogger and you're interested in that person. You're interested in what she's doing. You're interested in what he's doing. So the giant misconception that I feel is people don't wanna start vlogs because they think to themselves, I don't have an interesting enough life to vlog. I don't do fun things like that. I don't travel. I live in the middle of nowhere. But those are all things that do not matter because you are the story. What's your story? Where do you live? How can you make it work for you? Failure to communicate. When you're sitting so close to something, when you're standing in the forest and the trees are blinding you, like when your only focus is your next upload, it makes it Hard to see the big picture. Hard to see the totality of, of where you are, where you want to be, and the best path to get you there. Failure sucks, but the pain that is failure does not exceed the pain that is not trying at all. I regret my failures, but I would regret more a failure to try. Part of this new thing includes a new daily vlog, or daily show, a new video every day on this channel. I love making movies, I love being around other creators, I love collaborating with other creators, I love working with smaller creators, I love working with musicians and recording artists and, and people who make podcasts, it's happening. So I'm sure you guys are wondering, what does all this mean? Um, well, it means that I'm trying something new, trying something bold. Uh, I wanted to try something different. As you guys know, I have a show called Canon Culture, which I've been trying to develop for the past few weeks, and I've actually reached a point where I want to talk about it. Uh, so, as you guys know, uh, the show is about basically my opinions on different industry things, different things in the in, in the entertainment culture or entertainment industry culture, and you know, I just talk about stuff, give my opinions, and also some life lessons. And the reason why I'm bringing all this up is not because it has bad views or anything, because the views were surprisingly decent. Uh, one season, 12 episodes, not too bad. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I feel like I folded. I mean, I've tried a few different things. I've tried some stuff here and there, and it just, it either worked or it didn't work. And so as some of you guys may or may not know, after my relationship ended with Mrs. Sama, some stuff has definitely changed. Um, I not only lost my girl, I lost my job, I lost my will, I lost my car, and uh, I just, most importantly, I lost my purpose. I had so many things that I thought I wanted to do, but didn't know how to do. Uh, so long story short, um, I get in this play, I meet some great friends, just amazing, amazing people, and they help me realize how great and how talented I actually am. Great, now that this part is over, because this is the riffing part, <laughs> I essentially have figured out that I'm a producer. I make content, I put people together, I put those people to work to make content, and that is something that I'm good at doing. That is something that I like to do. That is something that I want to get paid to do. So, with that being said, we're gonna try something different. As you guys may or may not know, I started an anime channel recently, so this is the point where I announce it. I know you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I thought I was gonna try to keep it a secret, but it's gonna be a totally different thing. I will actually reveal it at 100 subs, okay? You'll know, you'll know it's me. Uh, second of all, the thing I want to talk about is some of my goals that I've set for this year, or some of my goals that I've set in general, and I've just never talked about it out loud. And so these are basically things that I wanna put out into the universe. Number one, I want to get on SNL. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, I don't know where I'm gonna, when, or, or just, any details whatsoever, I'm just throwing this out in, into the universe. I want to get on SNL. Uh, this one's really important. I want to meet Will Smith. That is something that he is my ultimate just 
mentors and stuff like that. Third, I wanna do a video with Casey Neistat. I know as crazy as that sounds, but because he is doing more and more things, I feel like I have a piece of value to offer his audience and I want to share that. Number four, I wanna have a meeting with Gary Vee. Once again, another situation where I don't know what it's gonna be about, uh, when it's gonna happen, or any details whatsoever. I just want it to happen. Number five, make Ken and Culture a hit show. I don't know if I'm gonna decide uh, where this show is gonna go, but I want to continuously do it. I want to continuously provide value for the people around me. I want to continuously uh, give my opinion on things. And I also really would like to just join the industry any way I possibly can. So that's just something that I'm interested in doing. Number six, I wanna start uh, a production studio like I have plenty of friends that I just really really wish they could like get into digital media and creating stuff and they're just some of them are some of them aren't I just want them to have a space where they can do that and I want to be able to provide that for them because I've created my own space for myself and I want them to have that I want them to develop their ideas and I want to be a part of that I want to help them push whatever narrative that they have or whatever story they want to have or whatever their canon may be I I want them to push that forward. And number seven, the most important thing to me, I want to star in a, in a Marvel or DC film. This has been something that has been on my mind literally forever. Okay, I've wanted to star as Nova and I've told people about that. I don't know how or when or, or any of this stuff is going to happen or even if I'm good enough of a performer or an actor, but all I know is that I'm an artist. I need to create things and I need to say things and I need to express myself through different ways. So I hope you guys can understand that, but this is literally the road, okay? And I know there's some other goals and other stuff in there, but I just feel like I can't uh, get anything done without throwing it out into the universe, okay? So there's plenty more things to come. There's plenty more content that I'm trying to create, and there's plenty of things that I'm trying to build, not just for myself, not just for those around me, but those who come after me. And as you guys know, as we say on my show, it's for one of the three C's, for the cash, for the clout, for the culture. And with that being said, I'm out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its dreams. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in. Oh, and basically what I want you guys to get out of this video is, does this mean I'm starting back up the vlog? Maybe. Does this mean I'm going back to canon culture season two? Maybe. Uh, does this mean my podcast is going to become more frequent? Maybe. I don't know. But all I know is that I have to put out content all the time. I have ideas and I have things that I want to do. And I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure to follow me on Twitter so that way you can have all the updates. And I'm also on Instagram. Link is in the description.